About a half hour into Brett Morgan's new documentary montage of Heck, the camera lingers on a note written in the slanted, scratchy handwriting of a teenage Kurt Cobain. It's intended for his first girlfriend, Tracy Miranda, with whom he lived for a little while in Olympia, Washington. While he was first putting together a band he briefly thought of calling Man Bug or Fecal Matter, before finally settling on Nirvana. Don't read my diary when I'm gone, the note says. Then, just below it, in the same script, when you wake up, please read my diary. Look through my things, and figure me out. What are we to make of this contradiction? What is its tone? Sarcastic. Playful. Needy. Miranda hints that it might be all of the above, but the only person who can really tell us for sure has been gone now for 21 years. This note takes on an airy double meaning as soon as Morgan films it, though, in that moment, you almost get this sense that Cobain is communing directly with the filmmaker, or even you, the viewer, who has purchased a ticket to the film and may or may not have also shelled out $25 a decade ago, to buy Cobain's published journals. In the work since 2007, when Courtney Love gave the director access to a private storage unit of Cobain's belongings, including 108 never-before-heard self-recorded cassette tapes. The impressionistic, collage-like montage of Heck is the result of Morgan's trip through Cobain's archives, seven years, of looking through his things and trying his best to figure him out. In the two decades since his suicide, a small cottage industry has developed that mythologizes Cobain's despair and plums every last corner of his archives for insight into his life and death. Beyond the journals and the perennially reprinted t-shirts and dorm room posters, there have been countless Nirvana-related books, the most respected and authoritative of which is Charles Cross's 2002 tome Heavier Than Heaven, and a few films that purposely played fast and loose with the truth, the provocatively pulpy Kurt and Courtney. Gus Van Sant's fictionalized fever dream last days, Montage of Heck is the first documentary claiming to tell some approximation of the actual story, and the first one to bear that dubious adjective authorized. In a scene that Morgan includes with what I'm sure is at least a pinch of irony, we're reminded of what Cobain and his widow Courtney Love thought of the writers who previously sought to tell some version of the story without permission. You have absolutely no fucking idea what you're doing, Cobain wrote in 1993 to Brett Collins, who was attempting to write an ill-fated book called Nirvana, Flower Sniffin, Kitty Petten, Baby Kissin, Corporate Rock Whores. I will make your life a living hell on earth because we will sue the shit out of you. With the cooperation of love and daughter Frances Bean Cobain, who recently admitted that she's not a Nirvana fan, with a sort of free-spirited candor that probably would have made her dad proud, Morgan has certainly uncovered a treasure trove of Cobain ephemera. And what's most striking about Montage of Heck is just how much of his short life Cobain actually wrote down and recorded and drew in, most important, preserved. Cobain saved everything, apparently, and some of the scrawled-down fragments that Morgan uncovers and artfully animates into the film feel almost too good to be true.